ladies and gentlemen we're back with another video it's your boy tipsy japan um yeah so it took a little bit more than 24 hours to put away that last set uh which was Kanken step 11 of this book bam so uh we're gonna get right to it i'm gonna shorten down these videos it's gonna be like 10 minutes that's hard work it just takes way too long to, uh, yeah. I don't know. Well, I didn't do that much editing, but yeah. Anyway, it takes a long time. Um, and it's all about the kanji, it's not about my face. So let's get right to it. Beep. Okay, so about face. Um, so somehow I managed to put those away. Um, not necessarily the most beautiful character in the world, but this is what my characters look like right about now. So, um, hmm, how should I do this? Well, I'd like to explain a little bit. Uh, first character is Sai, uh, meaning... There, you probably can't read it. This <laughs> dice appearance, form, take, uh, and coloring. So, uh, no gome uh, is the bushu, and some of the examples that we have here mm, are uh, one sai hai, uh, baton command. I got an example sentence. Rida no sai hai ni stagao. Obey a leader. Uh, next one we got Kasai, which is acclamation or applause. Uh, and this one seems to be the most common. This Sai Hai. Uh, Kasai here. So it's Kasai, and there's also the uh, fourth one down. Fifth one down is Hakushu Kasai, meaning clapping or applause. So uh, hakushu kasai ste yorokobu. Uh, this is a four character word. Uh, tends to be used, uh, like I've actually heard this in uh, in real life, not just on paper. Uh, but it's basically a kanji word for an applause. Um, of course, you know, hakushu is also uh, applause. You can see the character for white and hands, so you clap in your hands um, till they turn white. I don't know. It's a good way to say that. Not exactly sure. Yeah, it's kind of late, kind of tired, uh, but we're going to do this. Uh, let's see. So somewhere in there, I'm going to sneak in a uh, picture of this character, like I actually wrote it out by hand. Um, next, well, not, well, of course, all of this is written out by hand, but I mean, on the surface, using the surface screen. Uh, just trying to get a little calligraphy in there, make it look beautiful. Next, uh, we have Sai again uh, this time. As Susagu, Sai Soku, Susagu Sagaru, we need to block, obstruct, or, uh, hmm, what does I say? Close. Uh, this character can, tends to be used for, uh, let's see, the most common one would be Kousoku, Shinkin Kousoku, um, which is a character f characters for heart attack, as you can kind of see in here. Looks like heat, that's heart. Uh, another common one is Yosai meaning a fortress. That's that guy. Okay. Uh, yosai wa teki no te ni atta. The fortress was in the enemy's hands. So this is pretty common. Uh, Josai is also a fortress battle. Um, also, I saw a very cool kind of story here. Uh, Jin Kang or Ningen Banji. Sayo ga uma. So, what's the story behind this? Um, inscrutable are the ways of heaven. 
Um, so basically, there was a um, story in old China of um, this old man who was outside of a castle, and um, you know he he had money, uh, so he bought a horse for his first son. Um, but the horse got sick. Uh, and and died, so his son wasn't able to go off to war, uh, and consequently his son lives to a ripe old age. So you never know basically what um, what heaven has in store for you. Something may seem like uh, misfortune to you. I mean, you buy this brand new car and then it breaks down on you, but um, that you know that stops you from getting in an accident. Maybe you know an accident was in the books, and that cruel fate got passed on to someone else, or you didn't have to suffer that cruel fate, so, um, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool, next we have, uh, Sai, uh, which is also pronounced Saki, Misaki, uh, it means a spit, a cape, or a promontory. And the only character I could find with that was Saitama. So, Saitama Prefecture. And we have an example sentence. Saitama ken wa nishikara nagano ken ni seshiteiru. Saitama Prefecture borders Nagano Prefecture to the west. Okay. Um, next, you can see I was getting really sleepy yesterday. I was struggling. This was a battle. All right. Uh, this guy, Saku San. Shiragami. Okay, a wear stockade and twine around or a fence. Basically, it means a fence. Saku is a type of fence. Um, couldn't find the example sentences, but. Saku, uh, Sakumon, Shosaku, uh, the castle gate, Sakumon's a fence gate, uh, Tessaku would be an iron fence, whereas Mokusaku would be a wooden fence. Pretty straightforward. Um, I'm sure there are example sentences online. You can check out something like Word Bank, um, but I didn't bother. Because if it doesn't show up in my Denshiji show, which is this bad boy, or the slightly older model over here, I'm gonna focus. Let's get back and focus. Slightly older model right there. If it doesn't show up on one of those, you know what? I probably don't need to over focus on one character. And we're talking about a couple hundred characters, which is, you know, the permutation is just a couple thousand words easily. Um, so you gotta know when to call it enough. Um, next, what do we got? Yeah, Satsu, Setsu. Meaning temple or to work. Um, I found another meaning for this, meaning uh, the center of a pagoda. And the most common use for this guy is Setsuna, which is Setsuna Shugi, uh, living by the moment, living for the moment. Um, it kind of has a different feel um, for our living by the moment, but it is what it is. That's the closest uh, definition we can find. Um, uh, sets in a shiggy. Okay. Um, followed by Satsu. Uh, which means to be close, to close in, be eminent, and something else I can't really read. I like to choose to close in or not. Found that somewhere. Man, I was sleepy. Um, so, Kyakuni Aisatsu Suru to greet someone uh, who's a guest. Or Aisatsu Jo, which is a greeting card, uh, notice card. 
Okay, so Aisatsu, very important in Japan. Greeting. Okay, and the last one. I've got quite an example sentence here. I'll read that for you in just a moment. Uh, but it's Zan Kiru. Cut, cut someone with a katana blade, murder, behead. And then we have, again, character for a car and axe together there. Um, zansatsu, zanshu, cut someone's head off, behead. Uh, katana de kiru at the very bottom here, cut someone with a katana blade. Man, my handwriting's pretty wild. This is what happens when you're doing this thing in the middle of the night. Uh, but you know what? This is what keeps me up. So uh, I'm just glad I was able to share that with you guys. What does this say? Shoujiki na tokoro o yu to keshite wagahai no doksodu mo nakereba zanshin kiwatsu na ryouho demo nai no da. Whose words were those? Um, so, to be honest, what is this? You to keshite waga hai no dokso de mo nakereba. To be honest, if it's not even, if it's not my original, um, you know, it's not even, um, it's not even original. It's not even anything new. It's nothing serious. Um, so to be honest, it's, this is nothing nothing new. It's nothing really new under the sun. All right. Um, all right, guys. Uh, you have a wonderful evening, and we'll try this again tomorrow with a brand new set of kanji. Peace. And this is how we get it done. Okay? I'll show you how to get it done. That's what I'm going to say from now on. I'll show you how to get it done. Alright, that's step 11. I'm up. Oyasumi nasai.